Hey folks, so welcome to my video series on building a Jeep from a salvage Jeep. So it's a Jeep re slash build. Anyway, um, I wanna do a video on plastic gauge because there's a lot of videos and they talk way too much. So very quickly, if you like my videos, please remember to like, hit the bell so you find out when I release new videos and subscribe. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, I hope this video helps people who have never heard of plastic gauge, don't know what it is. So let's get to it. So I am working on my rear main seal. That's video number 49. This is video number 50. And I thought, well, hey, this is a good chance. I think my bearings look good. All right, so I've got a bearing there. It looks really good. But let's go ahead and check the, the specs on this. So. AutoZone sells a red and a green set of plastic gauge for $549. That's dirt cheap. It's cheaper than you can get it just about anywhere else. Um, and what this is is a very thin piece of plastic. So we're going to use the green. So let me get it out. Let me just, you guys can watch me. Um, so it's a very thin piece of plastic that's calibrated. And when you put it in there, it will crush. And then you use these to read it. One side's millimeters, one side's inches. And each of these is a, these are all the same. So 001 to 003, 001 to 003, that's one ten thousandths to three ten thousandths. All right, that's, that's what these numbers mean. These are all the same, but anyway, you open this, you take out a little piece of this thread, I'll cut it to the width of the bearing, put it in there very carefully, torque it down, it's gonna crush the plastic and then we're gonna read this, the width of it and that's gonna tell us the clearance of the bearing. It's really important to clean the bearings off completely before you do this. So I'm gonna do the main bearing and then I'm gonna do one of my connecting rods just to get an idea where are we at. Um, and that's gonna give me a sample. I don't think this engine needs anything. It's 111,000 miles. It did have a leaking rear main seal. I'm in here doing some other preventative maintenance. I got the oil pan off. This is the easiest it's ever gonna to get to work on, so I might as well change the oil pump while I'm in here. Um, but anyway, let's get to the plastic gauge. So when you open this, you wanna be careful not to damage the little plastic strip that's in here. All right, so when I say little plastic strip, here it is, it's a little plastic strip. Let me verify. So that little green thread in there is the plastic gauge. All right, so let me set that down. Uh, I'm going to bring the camera over so you guys can see how I do this. Okay, so I want to measure the width of this bearing in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull, well, maybe. Shit. All right, I'm going to have to unwrap the whole thing. It's stuck somewhere in here. And that's frustrating because uh, this shouldn't, I shouldn't have to do what I'm doing. I should have been able to unwrap it and get it out. Okay, so it was stuck at the other end. Not a big deal. I'm just going to set that there. You can use scissors, but I will get a better cut with a pair of nippers. So, again, what you're paying for is this little piece of plastic that is like a thread. Okay, and that's still just a little bit too long, so I'm going to take just a small, small piece of it off. All right, that looks good. Let's go put it in place and see how this looks. So I'm going to get these hand tight. All right, and then I'm going to get my torque wrench set up. Okay, so the torque value is 35 foot-pounds. All right, and I'm not hitting it. I'm, what I'm doing is bringing it down evenly as much as I can. I'm 
I'm gonna go double check that torque on That just seems really low for these. Okay, so it turns out that it's actually supposed to go to 80. 35 foot-pounds is the value for the cap brace. So that makes more sense to me. So that's fine. Um, bringing it up in stages is not a bad thing. Okay, now, I know that seems like an awful lot, but it's time for it to come apart. And uh, as I did before, I'm gonna use a breaker bar. And then I use a extension to just unseat this. Okay, so that's unseated. We'll take this cap out. And now we've got our plastic gauge, which is ready to be read. So the way you read this is to cut off a small piece of paper. Okay. And then you just simply hold it up. So in this case, it's closest to 0 0.051 millimeters. And 0 0.051 millimeters is, so it's, it's, all right, hang on a second. I gotta go get a different battery. I'll be right back. Okay, so I apologize, this is really difficult to read or to see, but it's this little strip that we're looking at and, God damn it. Okay, had to go turn off the hose, last of the fucking interruptions. So what you're trying to do is figure out what size is it closest to. So we'll start with 003. It's close, but it's wider than that. 002. Yeah, it's about a 002. Definitely not 015 or 001, so I'm going to call it 002. It's wider than 003. It's right at 002. And we're just trying to get an idea. So we're going to call that two ten thousandths clearance. So let me go look that up in the manual. Okay, so the if you go to the factory manual, crankshaft bearing clearance, specification is one one thousandth through two and a half thousandths. I was reading these wrong. These are in thousandths, not ten thousandths. But the preferred is two thousandths of an inch. And that's exactly where we're at. So we're good there. 
I'm going to go ahead and check one of the connecting rods. And what we're looking for is 0 0.01. So one, oh, that's side current. So we're looking for one and a half thousandths to two thousandths. And so I'm going to go ahead and check that and see where we're at. Um, I'm going to do this one up here because it's easy to get to. Looks like 13 millimeter. Let me see what it is. Twelve. Thirteen. It is thirteen millimeter. All right, so there is a small gap on this side that I will exploit. Or not. So, failing all else, we will grab it with these on the side and see if we can rock it. So what I'm trying to do is get this loose without damaging it. Almost had it. There we go. And before we go any further, one moment. So I'm going to take a hand engraver. And I'm just etching a little arrow towards the manifolds so that I know which direction this goes in, just in case I set it down and forget. And I'm still having trouble, so I'm going to use a screwdriver on this side to lift that out. Alright, so let's look at our wear pattern. Got a little bit of wear, but it's okay. So I'm going to wipe this off. Set that down. I need to uh, undo the need to unscrew the cylinder uh, spark plug a little bit. I 
actually going to just take the spark plug out. Still giving me grief. I just want that down so I can clean the journal. And I don't like that this fell out, but I'm just going to set it down. Nice and clean. Bearing looks good, so let's put it back in. Angle's a little difficult. Okay, there we go. So now we're going to bring this up. All right. And we're going to trim a small piece of plastic gauge like we did on the other bearing. Okay, what matters is that it's in here and it goes all the way across. So here is an example where my little arrow saves the day. see what the uh, torque setting is. Uh, I gotta go look it up. I'll be right back. I thought I had to find it. All right, 33 pounds or foot pounds is the value we're looking for.
So we're there. Now we're gonna take it right back off. I'm going to work it off with a pair of pliers because I don't know any other way to do this. Ow. gauge in here and see what my reading is. We're a little less than 0 0.015 and the preferred specification is 0.0015 to 0 0.002. We're a little better than 0 0.0015 so it's a little bit wider than that. Um, but that's good. So we're in spec. So at this point, we're essentially done. Um, I'm going to scrape the plastic gauge off as best I can with my fingernail. So, that's all there is to it. So, uh, I'm not going to do the rest of the engine because a, a spot sample of one main bearing and one connecting rod are well within spec. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps somebody with how to use plastic gauge and how to use it on a Jeep 4.0 engine. Uh, thanks for watching my video.